Glorious, so glorious in this place. Ekabashida, you are glorious, so glorious in this place. Holy Ghost, you are glorious, so glorious in this place. You are glorious, so glorious. Father, the all-sufficient God, you are the Alpha and Omega, you are the King of Kings, you are the Lion of, and the Lamb, you are the God who says the thing and no man alters his word, you are the God that can pick a man from zero to hero, you are Jehovah Jireh, you are Jehovah Elohim, you are the God of my Father, I want to bless your holy name this very day. Blessed be unto the name of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit, because I already know you are here. We can see your work everywhere. Please, just continue. You have the center stage. For in Jesus' name I have prayed. Can somebody shout hallelujah? First of all, I want to thank God for this great privilege. And I want to honor my father in the house. Thank you, Daddy Gio. Thank you, Gio. Thank you to all the fathers in the house. Thank you for such a wonderful and a real privilege. May the good Lord continue to enrich you all in the name of Jesus. I say may the good Lord continue to enrich our fathers and our mothers in the name of Jesus. Still in the spirit of enlargement, we're going to take our key test from Isaiah 54. Isaiah 54 from verse 2 to 4. Holy Ghost, help me. When this great man and woman of God came up and was speaking, I asked the Holy Spirit, what else do you want me to say? Since they've said everything that I jotted down. But I believe he's going to give me a trance. Isaiah 54. Enlarge the place of your tent and let them stretch out the curtains of your dwellings do not spare lengthen your cords and strengthen your stakes 
for you shall expand to the right and to the left and your descendants will inherit the nations and make the desolate cities inhabited do not fear i want you to tap your neighbor and tell your neighbor do not fear i said tap your neighbor tell your neighbor do not fear for you will not be ashamed neither be disgraced for you will not be put to shame for you will forget the shame of your youth in the name of jesus when the scripture says enlarge, what does he say? What is, what is he saying? He's just trying to say you should amplify, you should magnify, you should expand, you should break forth, you should aim big. In the book of First Chronicles, First Chronicles chapter 4 verse 9, here is a story of a man who from birth he had been destined for pain. That man was called Jabez. And the meaning of Jabez is pain. I, whenever I study the scripture, I always ask myself a question. What kind of mother give birth to a child and say, this child come forth to this world and become bitter and become and continue to struggle and be filled with pain but that was what Jabez's mother did the holy spirit said i should declare in the house under the protocol of anointing in this house for everyone who have been destined for pain who have been destined for bitterness right from your foundation you have been destined for pain in the name that is above every other name i decree i declare it is cancelled jabez knew his story but he refused to settle for his reality what he did he went to the god who can change stories he ran to god how do I know that? The Bible says Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. He went and faced God in spite of he knew that he has a hopeless name. He knew that he has a pro problematic name. He faced God and he told God, I want you to enlarge me. What Jabez was saying, in other words, is that I want you to make me a begin. I want you to expand me. I want you to change my current situation. I see God changing your current situation in the name of Jesus. And God answered his prayer. Now, what can enlargement do in the life of a man? Number one, enlargement can bring about increments and upliftment without struggle in the book of first samuel chapter 2 verse 8 the bible says that god is the only person that can raise a man from a donkey and place him to sit among princes see it doesn't matter what they say about you it doesn't matter what society is saying about you it doesn't even matter what your parents define you as but in the name that is above every other name i see you rising i see you rising i see you rising without struggle in the name of jesus enlargement can also bring about fruitfulness and multiplication no wonder God said in the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 28, he said they should go out, they should be fruitful, they should multiply, they should replenish, they should do have dominion over the earth. God was just giving them a commandment. When this great people of God came up and said that enlargement is a, a demand, I'm here to tell you that enlargement is also a commandment. You don't have a choice. Tell your neighbor you don't have a choice. You don't have a choice. You must enlarge. The book of Second Kings, chapter 4, 
from verse 1 to 7, there we see a story of a woman who lost everything. And the only people that was dear to her heart, her sons, was about to be taken away from her. And she ran to the prophet and told the prophet, look at my predicament. The prophet looked at her and gave her some instructions. She obeyed that instruction and God enlarged that woman through multiplication. May the Lord enlarge you in the name of Jesus. Enlargement can also bring about relevancy and recognition. It can bring about relevancy and recognition. In Genesis chapter 9 verse 27, Genesis chapter 9 verse 27, the Bible says, may God enlarge Japheth. May God enlarge Japheth. What God was saying in that scripture is that I am making Japheth a great nation. I am making Japheth a great nation. In other words, those who do not know who Japheth was had to know Japheth because God made him a great nation. Relevancy and recognition can be more practical or be more real. A man asks for a boy's quarter and God decided to give him a city. That man is not far away from us. That man is our father in the Lord. He asked for a boy's quarter and the Lord enlarged him and gave him a city. The first time I came to redemption camp i called my elder sister and i told her this is a city oh i see god making you relevant i just heard someone ask me how can i be relevant when i'm a nobody god is going to source you out and make you important and make you relevant after when he's not making you relevant, nations will be compelled to seek for you in the name of Jesus. Now there are three D's. Letter A, B, C, and D. Letter D. There are three D's that governs enlargement. Number one, determination determination number two destination destination number three divinity tell your neighbor you need these three i didn't hear you tell your neighbor you need these three using joseph as a case study in the book of genesis chapter 37 from verse 5 if you read downward, Genesis 37 from verse 5, if you read downward, Joseph had dreams. God endowed Joseph with dreams. God told Joseph who he was going to become. And he shared his dreams with his brothers. And his brothers decided in their hearts to destroy the dreams. See, I don't care how many people that have struggled to destroy your dreams but in the name that is above every other name may god announce you may god announce you may god announce you in the name of jesus little do they know that they are taking joseph to his destination joseph was determined in his heart that with all that what is going on around him, he was not going to compromise. He was not going to sin against God. How do I know that? When Joseph had an encounter with Potiphar's wife, he decided that he would not sin against God. He was intentional about that. I pray the Lord will help you not to fall in the days of adversity in the name of Jesus Christ. So what are the necessary steps we need to take 
for us to experience enlargement. Number one, you need to understand the times and seasons. You need to understand the times and seasons. You need to be intentional about it. The Bible says in the book of First Chronicles chapter 12 from verse 32, First Chronicles chapter 12, verse 32, that the sons of Ishaka understood the time that they were there in. They understood that time. They became intentional about that time. You need to understand the time. And the time we are in right now is the time of enlargement. It's the time of beyond expectation. It's the time of shy thoughts. So you need to understand that time. Secondly, you need to learn to be focused. Ah, please, can you place your hand on your head? Can you say, Father? Father, give me focus. Give me the spirit of focus. In the name of Jesus. We have a generation of young people who easily lose focus. Who easily lose focus. They are moved by the tides. If you want to be enlarged, you must learn to stand. You must learn to be different. See, it is not every distraction that needs your attention. Sometimes distractions are meant to motivate you. You must learn to be focused. Thirdly, you need the spirit of patience. You need the spirit of patience. Imagine that Joseph was not patient. Imagine that Joseph was not patient with the process. Imagine that Joseph made up his mind that he was going to do it his own way. We will not be reading about Joseph in this dimension. You need to understand that patience is a vital key. Learn to trust the process. See, greatness isn't bed forth overnight. Greatness isn't bed forth overnight. It all takes process. King David did not become King David overnight. God had to put him through the process of becoming a shepherd boy before he turned out to become a king. You need to learn the process. Fourthly, you need to be obedient. You need to be obedient. These great men of God had talked about obedience in different dimensions. Total obedience to God and his will brings about God's attention to any man's life. Dear youth, if you want God to expand you, then you must be obedient. You must learn obedience. Obedience cannot be overemphasized. You must learn to be obedient. You cannot taste enlargement if you don't know the Lord. No wonder the Bible said in the book of Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7 that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. The fear of the Lord. So if you want to experience enlargement, if you want to be embiggened, then you must know the Lord. In the book of Psalm chapter 1 verse 1 to 3, he said, Blessed is the man who walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners. Young people, you don't have to be there and you don't have to be here. You must either choose to be for Jesus or not to be for Jesus. And if you must be for Jesus, then you must stand for Jesus. Why is Yahoo boy strengthening? Because they don't have what it takes. They don't want to stand for Jesus. They don't want to be patient. 
they don't want to endure the process you must learn to stand for the lord and when you stand for jesus you will be greatly enlarged the bible says when you you don't stand in the ways of sinners you don't walk in the path of ungodly people you don't even sit you don't sit down to discuss with them you say make i just hear guy it don't concern you whichever way you want to turn it gossip is gossip you don't sit you don't sit in the seat of scoffers when you do all of this you delight yourself in the law of the lord then the bible says you shall be like a leaf that doesn't wither and whatsoever when the bible use whatsoever even though you are selling chin chin whatsoever even though you are selling pap whatsoever even though you are a teacher whatsoever whatsoever you do you will prosper promotion doesn't come from neither the east or the west in the book of psalms chapter 75 verse 6 the bible says promotion doesn't come from anywhere it's only god that can lift up a man it's only God that can make you a somebody. Follow God duly. Follow God duly. You want to be a large? Follow God duly. Your desperation for something will keep you on track. When you are desperate for enlargement, it will keep you on track. But it is divinity, God's factor that can make you great it is divinity god in a man that can make you great no wonder the bible say christ in me can i hear you christ in you because christ is in you you don't have any other option but to enlarge can you stand up on your feet Now you are going to pray just one prayer point. Like Jacob, who wrestled with an angel. I don't know whether you can see the angels around. But you are going to hold on to one angel and say, Father, Father, enlarge me beyond my expectations. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and cry to the Lord. Hey, Kabara Sheka, brother Nina. I cannot come all the way and go back the same. Enlarge me beyond my expectations in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Dear Holy Spirit, we thank you. We thank you because. You are able to do exceeding abundantly above all we could ever ask or think according to the power of the Holy Ghost which is at work in us. And so we believe in this season of enlargement we are going to be greatly enlarged beyond our expectations in the name of Jesus. I take authority over every spirit of depression i hear that in my spirit every spirit of depression every spirit that makes you look like you are a nobody i stand against you and i curse you from the roots in the name of jesus let's go thank you holy spirit because i know you've answered because this is the confidence we have in you for in jesus name we pray can somebody shout hallelujah?